The following video is a recap of Pokemon Go December Community Day Weekend. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be covering two days of Pokemon we caught throughout this year. From Machop to Shakes. And of course, I'll also be doing the special research story accompanied by this Community Day weekend. And hopefully, I'll be able to nab more shinies in the process. Okay, we're here with the final Community Day of 2021. Which of course features all the Pokemon that we caught from the month of January to last month in November. And I'm going to start with the special research. For task one, you had to power up a Pokemon 10 times and you would be rewarded with 10 Pokeballs, catch 10 Pokemon that were featured during 2021's Community Days, with your reward being 10 Raspberries, and make 5 nice rows with your, with your reward of 1,500 XP and the rewards for completing task 1 were 2,000 Stardust, 10 Pineapp Berries, and 1 Sinnoh Stone. Task 2, you had to transfer 10 Pokemon and your reward was 10 Ultra Balls, catch 15 Pokemon that were featured during 2021's Community Days with your reward of 1000 XP and evolve three Pokemon with your reward of 1500 Stardust and the rewards for completing task two were 1000 Stardust, one Poffin, and one Incense. For task three, you had to make three great curveball throws with your reward of 10 Pineapp Berries, catch 15 Pokemon featured during 2021 Community Days, just like with Task 2, but here your reward was a Sinnoh Stone. Transfer 15 Pokemon and your reward was 1 Elite Fast PM, and the rewards for completing Task 3 were 1000 XP, 1 Rocket Radar, and 1000 Stardust. At task 4, you automatically just claim the rewards, which were 10 Pineapp Berries, 1,500 XP, and 1 Elite Charge TM. And the rewards for completing task 4 of the special research were 1,000 Stardust, 1,500 XP, and 3 Rare Candies. But the 
timed research, which could be completed on either day, has more tasks than the previous timed research on community days and the special research for this community day weekend. And most of them were just repeats of each other, but you had different tasks, the steps in each task to complete. For example, you had to power up a Pokemon seven times with your reward of the Snivy counter, catch five different species of Pokemon with your reward of, of a Sea Dot encounter, and catch 15 Pokemon with your reward of Roselia being a Pokemon encounter and the reward for completing this step was an Eevee encounter but of course some of these steps are different some are repeated they all the majority of them featured Pokemon that you caught in 2020 such as Pinclup, Weedle, Porygon, Electabuzz, Magmar, just to name a few. And lastly, it took me a while to get my first shiny, almost an hour, and my first shiny was a Machop, and of course, You'll see at the end of this video how many shinies I got total for this Community Day weekend alone. And I will leave you to the track that I always use for my gameplay footage of me playing the game during Community Days and other events in Pokemon Go.
The final shiny count for this Community Day weekend is 35. Yes, 35 shiny Pokemon with a total of 24 on Saturday and 11 on Sunday, giving me the total of 35. This was a great Community Day weekend. So it could have been better in regards to the live stream I did on Sunday, but I still had fun and had a great live stream on Saturday over on Twitch. And of course, this closes out the Community Days for the year 2021. I will be back in 2022 with the new episode of Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go covering January 2022 Community Day. Once the Pokemon for the month of January has been announced, I'll be sure to bring it to you here on this channel. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, most importantly, get vaccinated, and of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not in the woods just yet, and of course, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy New Year. I will all see you in 2022 for the next episode of this series.